Hello everyone, this is King Kong LT. Last video we have learned how to use the wall switch panel with our H32PS controller. In this video I will show you how to use King Kong Smart Home application for remote controlling the relay output and how to create the things mode and triangle by the sensor for the output and also how to send the alarm message for your mobile phone. You can use your mobile phone in world in anywhere. So that's use the remote and use our King Kong Cloud Server. Okay, let's begin. This time we need to use the digital input sensor. Uh, this is a blue socket. And this socket is a digital input. Uh, we can take the example for the door sensor. This is a door sensor. And just it's mag magnetic, uh, just like this. Uh, close and open to detect your window or your door, whether it's open and it's closed. And you can see this door sensor have this line. Uh, this have two lines, just this two line. When the top is open and closed, so that is closed and open. So I can detect for you. Uh, let you see the door sensor, the principle. You can see I use this multimeter. Um, use the voice. When if two point is closed. Uh, you can see uh, the meter will be beep. So we just can detect this two line, and the meter uh, is not voiced. And if we open the door, just like this, remove this body. Uh, you can see LD is on. The voice is have a sound, and the door is closed. Uh, you can see the sound is not appearing. So. This just output the dry contact signal. Uh, just is open and close, open and close. So we can use this. Uh, this very easy signal type. We can just connect with two line uh, with this uh, ground, and this is digital input. Because we have used this one sensor, so I choose to use the digital one input, and this is the ground. Now I will tell you how to connect with this line. We can remove the socket and also we can remove the blue socket. Uh, this is the blue socket, uh, this is removable, so easy to install the, the wine. This is channel one. This is channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four, channel five, channel six. So we can use this digital input. Is a one. Okay. Now we can plug in. This is a one. And also the sensor. Another line is the ground. As the ground, we can connect with this uh, black socket. You can use any hole of the block socket because uh, this all is connected together. So I can okay. Now we can plug in the black socket. Okay, now it's complete. Uh, just connect with this two line. Uh, we can detect the door sensor. The next step, we need to configure the network setting. Okay, now we can uh, check all lines is no problem. Uh, just this line is no problem. You can power on. Then the controller is red LD. The power LD is on. And wait for a moment. And we can use the network config toy. Uh, you can see this is my computer. Uh, this is scan device toy. You can choose the network device of your computer and choose your local IP and choose the start monitor and we can press the scan and you will find the H32 BS as the ID and the, the module and the IP and the part. So we can copy this IP and paste and login with the network setting. And now I have used the Ethernet cable. So we use the Ethernet cable setting. Uh, we can choose the work mode 
uh, for the UDP. The UDP means let the country collect our cloud server because you need to remote country it uh, in anywhere in the world. Uh, so this is our server IP and this is the part. Uh, this is never changed. I just input this, this number and this part. And uh, you can press Press save and restart. Because I have already set this work mode for UDP and for the cloud server. So I not need to reboot and restart. If it work with the UDP and connect to the cloud server, you can see there is a blue LED is on. The blue LED means you have connected to our cloud server by UDP. And now the next step is we can install the mobile phone application. You just use use this uh, user menu, uh, you can see uh, this is the diagram, diagram and uh, this is the uh, QR code of the Kingo Smart Home application. This red one uh, is for remote country and this yellow one, the key box, is work for local network. Without internet, you can uh, use your controller. And now we can scan QR code to install this one. Also, you can download from our Kinkoni official website. I have already installed. Uh, you can see just this icon. I uh, use this application. So we can open this application. And the first time, you need to register a username. Just click register. And this is a phone number or username. Uh, not must use a phone number. Such as if I can input Uh, this is a username and the password I can input 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and the password repeat 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ok, submit and register successfully and now I can use this uh, to login and the password and the login okay this is the main window this is not uh, no anything information we just can go to the my and the host manager because we need to add this uh, controller to our application so you just click add and scan QR code and we can scan QR code uh, this is QR code okay we can scan QR code and we can uh, uh, input a name like h32 bs and down and you can click add and you can see the add successfully just uh, ok press ok now you can see uh, this is controller this is bs and this is online and now we can click the back and choose my device and you can see uh, this is an icon this icon, you need to use your finger and hold down, hold down, not remove. Uh, you will see uh, this menu. And we will need to add the controller to a room. Just select the room. And the device name uh, also is H32PS. Uh, you can choose by yourself. And this is a controller icon. Uh, you can choose many controller icon and choose a room, uh, just uh, the default is follow one and uh, rule one and uh, you can create for your house uh, like follow one, follow two, follow three or room one, room two, room three, just uh, by yourself and press save ok, add successful and back and go, go, go to the home now you can close your application and uh, open again And you will see the H32PS is displayed on the main window. Now you just can go to uh, this window and you can see uh, you I can press the output one just like this. The real one is on. And you can see the uh, switch panel, the blue LED is on. You can see I turn off the relay. relay is off and the switch is also off. And I can press the relay 2, uh, relay 1, relay 3. Relay 4. So this is how to use your mobile phone remote control relay and the state feedback to the wall switch. And also we can turn off. Okay, now I will tell you 
how to use the DOS sensor uh, for triangle or sense mode. So we need to create a sense mode, uh, such as when the door is open, uh, I can let the relay 1 or relay 2, uh, 2 relay is all is on. So I can create the sense mode like this, sense mode add. And uh, the mode name like all on. And this is the icon you can choose uh, for the photo. And the time setting, uh, now I'm not set the time setting. You can set the time schedule for the sense mode when the running and when triangle. And the detail setting, we can click this add action. Just click this. And uh, because we need to operate for the H32 BS, so I can click. Uh, because we need two action, so we can click again. Now you have created the two equipment. Okay, if you have let the release three is off, release four is off. So you you need to check again and again. So add four device. And now we can choose the back. And you will see uh, two actions. We can click this one. You can, because we can run in this sense mode, let relay 1 and relay 2 is on. So I can press on, set for the first relay. And now I press the test, and you must press the test output 1. And you will see the first command is output 1 is on. And this is the delay time you can use. Click execute. And you can choose, I can set a delay time for one second uh, you just choose by yourself so this is a full command uh, run running and after delay time one second then we can run in the second command just also press press the h32 ps and you will see the device displayed and now we can open the relay tool and also i can press the test and uh, not press this position or this position just press the test now you can see uh, this is output 1 on and output 2 is on. Now I can press the save. You can see uh, this is sense mode for on. Uh, uh. We can test it whether it is working correctly. Now you can see this relay 1, relay 2 is off. Uh, I can press this button like this. Uh, you can see relay 1 is on after 1 second, relay 2 is on. So this is uh, work well, no problem. And I can let use this all off to turn off. Just uh, shut. OK, turn off. OK, the next step, I will ch tell you how to use the door sensor to triangle the sense mode. And let the door is open. The relay 1 and the relay 2 will be on. So I can go to the mine. And you can see my device setting. And uh, Safe setting. Z there are input points. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that input one, uh, just this, we have used the input one, the blue socket input one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we can set uh, the enable time, uh, the start and the end. The start, we can choose the zero. Every day from the zero clock. And the end time, that means I can choose uh, 23, 23 for army. So that means the day, the whole day always is enabled for the input one. You can set the input one, the time range, uh, like uh, from your work time or from your work off time. So that uh, just when your time in the range for, for your set, uh, the input will be track with output uh, for enable. And we can set the time, and we can enable this for input one. Uh, you can hold down this window and uh, turn left. You can see this edit button. You can click the edit. Now you can relate, uh, you can link for the sense mode. Uh, just we can choose the sense mode is all on. If you have many sense mode, you can list. Uh, just choose which 
sense model, you will need to link uh, choose the OR. And uh, this is send alarm message. Uh, if you want to, the door is open, send a message to your mobile phone, you just can input the test by yourself, like door is opened. This message we send to me when the door is opened. I can press down and press the save. Okay, now I have set the mobile phone. Uh, we can test like this uh, back to the window. You can see when I open the door like this, open the door. I have received the message. Door is opened. And you can see uh, this relay 2 and relay 1 is on. So you can uh, use this function for uh, uh, use a sign, uh, a speak, a loud speak. Uh, you can uh, play a voice and you can also send, uh, receive the message. Uh, you can see. I can close uh, my application and uh, close uh, this relay 1 and relay 2. And I try go again. This is my mobile phone. And I, the door is uh, closed. And now I can open the door again. Open the door. OK. Receive the message. And the relay 1 and the relay 2 is on. Uh, we can see uh, this is the details. Uh, this is record. Have to record uh, what time is received. And also, you can go to King Kong Smart Home application. Uh, there is a history you can you can check. Uh, this is alarm record, and you can see uh, when the time uh, is triggered uh, uh, by your Android phone or by your iPhone. So you can see this is the time and which input digital sensor is triggered. Uh, you can rename this input one for door sensor or for your sensor name. OK, this is how to use the Kinkoni Smart Home application uh, for remote control the relay output and the triangle by your sensor and the triangle the relay output uh, by the input points. OK, thanks for watching.